Next up, at UFC Vegas 77, we haven't even hit the main card yet. We have Ashley Evans Smith taking on Aylin Perez. Ashley Evans Smith, six and five overall, one and four in her last five. She is coming off a USADA suspension. Uh, she's taking on Aylin Perez, seven and two overall, three and two in her last five, coming off that submission loss to Stephanie Egger and a whole bunch of canceled fights in between. This card has three different fighters with layoffs that are two years or longer, but Ashley Evans Smith is the only one that had that layoff because of a USADA suspension. She pissed hot. She was suspended. She's been in the UFC for almost 10 years. She's got a ton of experience despite like this small record. And she's one of the like OG generation one of women's MMA. Generation one of women's MMA are well-rounded, right? They at least know a couple different skills because it came after, you know, uh, MMA became a thing. I so they started training. <clears throat> they st um, okay, Jesus Christ. Um, so she's well-rounded and she's from the day where you could just be super tough and just tough your way to some wins. She's fought everybody good. She's lost to most of them, but because she is so well-rounded, her wins and losses all look very different. For the most part, she wants to get the takedowns and grind away. She's taking on Aylin Perez. She's the one who's just twerking every scenario, every situation, anywhere she is. Her entire, like on the We Want Picks Instagram, we follow all the fighters. <laughs> you have to tell on yourself or something. My entire suggested feed is just all her, just twerking, no. just all the time. Anytime, like, yeah, I watched the video. I was about, I was like, anytime <laughs> I scroll through the We Want Picks Instagram, it's just her. I, I had to Have unfollow. you seen Ashley's Instagram? I had to unfollow Hannah Goldie because <laughs> Hannah Goldie is just like 90% naked. And then it's just like, what am I doing? Like, Jesus. Hell yeah. Next Have time you seen she Ashley's fights, Instagram, follow, but no, but I hope it's not more pornography. <laughs> she's like a, she's like a, uh, fucking vi like a vixen. Anyway, that's like um, Aylin Perez. You may know her as the uh, twerk machine. She twerked in the weigh-ins of her last fight and then got blown out in that fight, which was a little embarrassing for her, but, um. She has some decent striking, nice long jab. She uses it to plot forward. She walks her opponents back. Grappling-wise, she does use her size and strength to bully people to the ground with trips and drags. When she hits the ground, she's measured, she's controlled, and she looks for positions. <laughs> it's I mean, hard a little for me like, to see. Like modeling pictures and stuff. I mean, it's like... Okay, settle down. Um... You never know what you're going to get when somebody comes off a two-year layoff. We talked about that a little bit before. Especially a layoff because of a substance uh, issue. So I imagine you're lesser than, right? Because before... Because <laughs> before um, the suspension, she was using illegal substances. Now she's not. So I imagine she's going to be a little less than what she was. I got to go with Aylin here. I, I think... You know, Aylin made some really poor decisions in her last fight that gave up some takedowns and didn't look great. But she also defended five takedowns in that. I think Ashley's going to be rusty. I think she's going to be a step behind. I think Aylin is going to be able to get this done. Um, the only thing that concerns me is anytime you get somebody with the sort of experience and the toughness of Ashley Evan Smith, you have a real live dog situation. So Aylin's going to be the pick. Pretty confident in that. But let's not forget, Ashley Evan Smith... If you don't know who Fallon Fox is, Fallon Fox was a man who um, transitioned to a woman, then fought MMA and was like breaking jaws, breaking eye sockets, destroying people. Ashley Evan Smith is who beat Fallon Fox and ended that whole thing. So she is At tough. what weight class? Was it a sanctioned 35. Thing? It was all sanctioned. Ronda Rousey was like very outspoken Tiny about dude. it. Ronda Rousey was very big on like the transition after puberty. It was a whole thing. I don't want to get into the whole thing. My point is, Ashley is tough. She's been around for a hundred years, and um, yo, know, I do think Aylin's gonna win this fight. But based on her poor fight IQ in the last fight, I can't bet on this. What do you think, Jakey boy? Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to give another hats off to Ashley and her toughness as well. And she and she does rely on that, but she can rely on that because she is a very very tough girl. I mean, she was getting beat up in her last fight three year, you know, three whatever years ago. But you see her just constantly just keep trying to work through situations, even when things are not going her way. She will continue to move forward. She will continue to try to do different things. I think that she was like a a high school wrestler with maybe some after high school wrestling. So she used to be a very very you know, experienced wrestler. I don't want to say like high high level, but an experienced wrestler. 
wrestler. And that kind of is her go-to, but you don't really see that kind of in, at least in that last fight. She really didn't even try to shoot a takedown and it was a little bit sloppy. And Aylin Perez in her last matchup, Honestly, in the wrestling, didn't look too bad. And she definitely came to fight. I know she's got all the antics behind everything, but you can see when she's in the octagon, she is a competitor and she wants to fight. What she struggled with against Stephanie was the judo. I mean, she was getting in these clinch situations, getting tossed down, but she got a takedown of her own. She got some, a couple sweeps in those, and she was active off her back. You can tell she definitely knows what she's doing in the grappling, in the wrestling, but it was just the judo that was giving her a hard time. She would get the body, get thrown to the ground, in the headlock, didn't know how to get out of situations. And Ashley Evan Smith just does not have that judo so when it comes down to this fight i believe that Aylin perez is going to be a little bit more active in the striking a little bit better strike a little bit sharper and in the wrestling i think she can control the wrestling and the grappling exchanges as well and i, I honestly pre feel pretty good about her in this matchup i i, I put a money line bet on her i got her at minus 150 when i saw that i thought that was pretty good value now it's getting closer to minus 200 um but i, I i'm actually pretty confident in her in this matchup i think she gets the takedowns to control and uh she's a pretty nasty grappler and she's a tough girl she's a tough girl yeah, I think um, I I agree. And honestly, if she was minus 130, 40, 150, that's not so bad. Minus 190, I don't know, two to one favorite. It scares me a little bit, but look what she opened at. Minus 450 at Bet Online. Minus 450. That's a little. So I, probably, I probably got the bottom there. Crazy loops. You might have gotten the bottom, honestly. Um, oh, I'd like that bottom. <laughs> That was a very soft. You usually do your growl. It's a little manlier. I'll let you redo it. That was embarrassing. No. Aylin Perez, look at cat. DM me, Aylin. Uh, it's right there. Um, $8,800 for Aylin. You think she is worth $8,800 in DraftKings? Uh, yeah. Sorry, my mind went a million different ways with that. So, <laughs> sure and I just, I had, it was like, it was like Doctor Strange. Like every single, I saw every single scenario and everything uh, I was going to say, except for that answer, it was going to get me in some fucking trouble. <laughs> so, I gave the one in a million right answer right there. <laughs> well, th there you go. Um, I, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I might wait till weigh ins. We'll see what Ashley looks like at weigh ins, how prepared she looks, nervous. Long ass layoff. There was a substance issue. Some I think somebody mentioned surgery in the mix. Injuries. Yeah, somebody mentioned surgery in the mix. Like, there's a lot going on. So and her Instagram is like, you know, I yeah. If you think if you think Aylin's is a little distracting, oh! I think she's still around the sport. I think she does commentary and stuff too for uh, MMA and stuff. So it's not like she's like completely out of the sport or anything. All right. Well, we want picks.com. It's only ten dollars a month. You unlock everything you have ever needed. To pick some fights.